Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure interface-based rate limiting. There are two types of rate limiting, interface and flow-based rate limiting. Flow-based rate limiting is MQC-based traffic policing. Now let's see interface-based rate limiting. Interface-based rate limiting can be configured in the inbound or outbound direction. It applies to scenarios where services are singular or services do not need to be differentiated. There is finite network bandwidth and traffic needs to be limited. The configurations of interface-based rate limiting on fixed and modular switches are different. Let's move to interface-based rate limiting on a fixed switch. As shown in the figure, only data services are transmitted on the network. The bandwidth of each department in the enterprise needs to be limited. In the inbound direction, Enterprise Department 1 requires the CIR of 8 megabits per second in the inbound direction. And Enterprise Department 2 requires the CIR of 5 megabits per second. Other departments also connect to the switch. The traffic on the switch needs to be within 30 megabits per second. To meet the requirements, configure rate limiting on specified interfaces in the inbound and outbound directions. Let's see the configuration. On GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2. Connected to two departments, configure inbound interface based rate limiting, set the CIR values of departments 1 and 2 to 8192 kilobits per second and 5120 kilobits per second respectively. On GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 of the switch connected to the router, configure outbound interface based rate limiting to limit the rate of incoming traffic within 30720 kilobits per second. Let's show how to configure interface-based rate limiting in the inbound and outbound directions. Enter the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Configure inbound rate limiting. Set the CIR to 8192 kilobits per second. And exit from the view of GE0 slash 0 slash 1. Enter the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2. Configure inbound rate limiting. Set the CIR to 5120 kilobits per second and exit from the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2. Enter the view of GE0 slash 0 slash 3. Configure outbound rate limiting. Set the CIR to 30720 kilobits per second and exit from the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3. The CIR is the guaranteed average transmission rate. When the average rate of packets exceeds the CIR, packets are lost. After the configurations are complete, run the display QOSLR inbound interface command to check the interface based rate limiting configuration. On GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1, the CIR is 8192 kilobits per second and the CBS is 1024000 bytes. The CBS is the maximum volume of burst traffic that can pass through an interface. Generally, the CBS is 100 to 200 times the CIR. If the CBS is not configured, the default value is used. The default CBS is 125 times the CIR. Let's move to interface-based rate limiting on a modular switch. As shown in the figure, only data services are transmitted on the network. The bandwidth of each department in the enterprise needs to be limited. Enterprise Department 1 requires the CIR of 8 megabits per second and PIR of 10 megabits per second. And Enterprise Department 2 requires the CIR of 5 megabits per second and PIR of 8 megabits per second. Other departments also connect to the switch. The traffic on the switch needs to be within 30 megabits per second. 
to meet the requirements, create CAR profiles for Enterprise Departments 1 and 2, and configure the CIR and PIR in the CAR profiles, and apply the CAR profiles to GE4 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE4 backslash 0 backslash 2 on the switch in the inbound direction. On GE5 backslash 0 backslash 1 of the switch connected to the router, configure outbound interface based rate limiting to limit the rate of incoming traffic within 30 megabits per second. Let's see the configuration. Create CAR profiles, CAR1 and CAR2 on the switch to limit the rate of traffic from Enterprise Departments 1 and 2. In CAR1, set the CIR to 8192 kilobits per second and PIR to 10240 kilobits per second to meet the requirement of Enterprise Department 1. In CAR2, set the CIR to 5120 kilobits per second and PIR to 8192 kilobits per second to meet the requirement of Enterprise Department 2. Apply CAR profiles on GE4 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE4 backslash 0 backslash 2 connected to Enterprise Departments 1 and 2 to implement inbound rate limiting. Outbound rate limiting on a modular switch is similar to that on a fixed switch. That is, configure CIR in the interface view. The default CBS is used if the CBS is not configured. Let's show how to configure interface-based rate limiting in the inbound and outbound direction. Create CAR profile, CAR1 in the system view, and configure the CIR and PIR. Create CAR profile CAR2 in the system view and configure the CIR and PIR. Enter the view of GE4 backslash 0 backslash 1. Apply CAR1 in the inbound direction and exit from the view of GE4 backslash 0 backslash 1. Enter the view of GE4 backslash 0 backslash 2. Apply CAR2 in the inbound direction and exit from the view of GE4 backslash 0 backslash 2. Enter the view of GE5 backslash 0 backslash 1. Configure outbound rate limiting. Set the CIR to 30720 kilobits per second and exit from the view of GE5 backslash 0 backslash 1. After the configuration is complete, run the display QoS CAR command to check the CAR profile configuration. You can view the CIR, CBS, PIR, and PBS. If the CBS and PIR are not configured, the default CBS is 188 times the CIR. If the PIR is configured, the default CBS is 125 times the CIR. The PIR is the maximum rate of traffic that can pass through an interface. When the average rate of packets exceeds the PIR, packets are lost. The PBS is the maximum volume of burst traffic that can pass through an interface. The default PBS is 125 times the PIR. Run the display QoS CAR statistics interface, interface hyphen type, interface hyphen number, inbound command to check the inbound traffic statistics on the interface and check whether packets are lost. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, all about switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage.
The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.